to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video so for today's video i can't believe i've never done one of these before oh am i okay today we are doing a massive spring asos haul also quickly i've switched backgrounds like i've gone from sitting that side to this side i just feel like because it's sunny today the lighting's playing games and i'm getting all that lines on me so yeah hope you don't mind so in today's haul i'm bringing you guys spring summer vibes we've got so many pastel colors it's actually I'm so glad that bright colours are going to be a massive thing this year because I've always loved wearing bright colours. I was always that girl to wear like bright pink, bright, I don't know, any colour. I'm just a bright colour girl and the fact that they're coming out this year just makes me so happy. So this will be a try and haul. Everything will also be linked down below if you are interested in it. But yeah, I'm going to get into it. So if you do enjoy it, please smash a big thumbs up. Make sure you're following me on my Instagram and my TikTok to see how I style all of these things right we've got a massive bag here so let's just get into it do i start with my favorite thing or is that brave yeah i'm gonna start with my favorite thing this shirt it's literally screaming spring summer so i saw this on tiktok and as soon as i saw it i was like oh my god i need to get that in my life right now and i only had a size 18 <laughs> left on the website so it's like a lot bigger than i actually am but i think it's the perfect oversized Ness. <laughs> so i would wear this like with jeans a white crop top or like i think a cycling shorts coat would look sick underneath this in the summer but how cute is this i'm obsessed with all the different colors in it like there's every freaking color of the rainbow on there this is from the asos design section so it's like asos's own brand and i'm actually glad they only had an 18 left in stock because this fits me perfectly like exactly how i wanted it to fit um so hopefully this is still in stock when you guys want to go and get it because like i said they only had an 18 left when i got it but you need this in your life so everybody has seen the zara pink jeans and i went to get them but obviously those out of stock because everybody's got them and i do have the yellow zara jeans but i really wanted the pink but they were out of stock so i found these ones on asos again these are asos design um but i can't do them up <laughs> so i think these are mid-rise not high-waisted so when i actually try to do them up no so they won't be a try and clip for these i'm afraid um, i just don't do up but i love the color of them the pastel pink um they're just like a normal straight leg pair of jeans and then they do have the split hem as well. These are so cute and I'm so good that they don't fit me. The quality of them feels really nice and everything. There's no stretch to them at all, which is obviously why I couldn't get them on. But yeah, these are cute. They just didn't fit me, which is really sad. So I'm still yet to find the perfect pair of pink jeans. I have got my notifications on for Zara. So as soon as they come back in stock, I'm getting them. So next up, we've got a little pink top. Um, this is going to be so confusing to show. Like You're actually not going to understand how it works until I've got it on. But it's pretty much a one shoulder top like this <laughs> then it has like a cut out detail that also goes around your here does that make sense like i said you'll see it better when it's on but this is so cute it's a nice slinky material love the color of it i'm really into pink this year this is from the brand is it from made in the uk oh this is from the as you section it just says made in the uk there um i got this in a size 10 and yeah this is so cute and i thought well, my idea with this was to pair it with the pink jeans, but obviously the pink jeans don't fit, but you could still pair this with like blue jeans or grey jeans would be sick with this. I'm really loving like the monochrome vibes at the minute where you wear literally one colour in all different tones. So that's what I was going for with the pink jeans and pink top, obviously. The pink jeans let me down. Oh my god, guys, this bag. This bag. Is this just not the cutest bag you've ever seen? First of all, look at the size of it. It's the perfect size. It's not too big. We can still fit like everything you need in there. You can fit your phone, camera, purse. Everything's gonna fit in there perfect. And look at the ruche detailing of it. I am obsessed. I don't know what it is about yellow this year, but I feel like this year yellow is my colour. And it's the colour I'm gonna be wearing a lot. Um, so obviously I had to pick up a yellow bag. To go with all my yellow outfits. But even with a grey tracksuit, if you took on this yellow bag, that would that's gonna spice it up and make it more springy. Pretty sure this was ASOS design. Let me see. Yeah, this is ASOS design and that is so cute. Like imagine that yellow bag with the different coloured shirt. <sighs> Guys, can't cope, we can't cope. <laughs> oh my god, these jeans. So I'm mm, am I getting back into jeans? Not really, but I kind of want to get back into jeans as we're coming out of lockdown because I can't live in tracksuits forever, even though I would love to. So I found these jeans on ASOS. They are from Bershka though, and they're called the 90s jeans. These jeans are so sick. They're like straight leg like really wide straight leg if that makes sense like they're not flared they're just wide leg wide leg <laughs> don't know and then they've got rips in the knees 
but I love the colour of these. These are perfect grey. I've got a grey pair of jeans like this, but they don't fit as well as these do. So I did get these in a size 38. I think that's a size 10. Um, but yeah, love these. Quality is insane. Love how wide they are on the legs. There's nothing worse than getting wide leg jeans than being actactually skinny jeans. Like, we don't want none of that. Grey, such a cute colour to pair with pastels. Though, like with that pink top, with the yellow bag, with the shirt. <sighs> grey jeans just go with everything. And I feel like I'm kind of over blue jeans at this point. So to have some nice grey jeans to go with everything. They've also got like a patch on the back. I love those. I feel like they're going to be my definitely new go-to jeans for spring and summer this year. Yes, I said summer and jeans because I live in the UK and it's never actually that hot. I feel like this was another Bershka piece. Yeah. And I'm back with the yellow. This top is so cute. There's like a little crop top. But it's got a hook and eye detail at the front. Um, so it kind of just like this it's a really nice thick rib material it's not see-through at all imagine this paired with the grey jeans and the yellow bag i feel like i've made outfits accidentally in this haul well done Jenny. but like i said this is from bershka um it doesn't have a price on it so i don't know how much it was but it wasn't expensive at all i'm, I'm back with the yellow <sighs> this is so cute like i said i need to be more like girly put more effort in i need jeans i need pastels no more greys no more track suits i don't know if i'm ready for it yet but in the spring is it spring now in the summer i need to get out of these track suits <laughs> the next piece i'm about to show you is so basic but it's just a basic that everybody needs in their life and it's just like a white plain little crop top it's got two straps that go the same side so it's kind of like that so it is a little bit different to your standard normal crop top if that makes sense um, I really love the fact it's got the two lines on the one side. It just makes it a bit more different. It's a nice thick rib material and it's not see-through at all. I have already wore this. I picked it up in a size 10 and like I said, it would just go for literally anything. So that's their first day in. Sticking it to the yellow theme. Obviously haven't had enough of yellow yet. Uh, I picked up these ribbed flared trousers. These are so cute. Even if you just wear these like, on holiday over a bikini, that kind of vibe. These are beautiful. They look quite big on the waist though. I've got them in a 10, I think. Yes, yeah, size 10. These are from Collusion. I'm pretty sure they were on sale as well. I just thought they're so like in season, like everybody's wearing pastel colours and especially me with yellow right now. I just had to get them, especially because they were on sale as well. You could do like a monochrome yellow vibe or put that little white crop top with it with the yellow bag, some Air Force. There's so many things you could do with this. This would even look nice with the colourful shirt on top. I'm not sure just matching everything that I've bought together, like I haven't got clothes in my wardrobe already. Um, but yeah, just a simple pair of wide leg trousers that can actually go with anything even though they're yellow oh my god i forgot i ordered these i say i tried it all on and tried probably half of it on so i picked up two pairs of shorts um so the first ones are these white shorts these are like mum shorts and i think they're asos yeah these are asos design um i just feel like white shorts will literally go with anything pastel tops white tops blue tops literally any color top it'll go with i've got them in a size 10 but they do look really big i mean we'll see and try them on they are the mum style so they are supposed to be like year anyway so hopefully that'll be fine i don't own any i don't think i own any white shorts unless i do and i forgot about them i don't actually know but you can't just you just can't beat a fresh white pair of shorts and with a tan as well they're gonna look unreal and then next i picked up a new pair of blue denim shorts i don't actually have that many pairs of blue denim shorts the ones that i do have i feel like i've not overworn them but they're not they haven't really got shape anymore so i feel like i needed some new ones these are the ones I picked up. They're just plain. They haven't got any rips in or anything like that. I love the colour of blue that they are because I'm really fussy with blue denim. Um, again, I got these in the 10 and they're from ASOS Design. And they're just like a staple that everybody needs for summer. You know, they're going to go with everything. Um, and for them days that you just don't know what to wear, blue denim shorts and a cute top is always a good way to go. Oh my god, this is tiny. How is that a medium? Because someone explained to me in what world is that a medium? This is from Bershka. And if you didn't know, Bershka is like the sister brand to Zara. Um, so I'm pretty sure like it's the same people who make it or something like that. I don't really know. But that is tiny. That's a medium. It's a blue, cottony, like bralette kind of thing. But I just think that is tiny. Is it just me or is that tiny? You can see the material there. It's a really nice soft ribbed cotton material. I just don't know if it's going to fit me. Um, there's no adjustable straps and nothing on the back. So it's just literally as it is. Is it stretchy? Yeah, it's got some stretch to it. But it just looks absolutely tiny. Like I said, I got that in a medium and um, it just looks really, really small. So, I mean, we'll soon find out if it actually fits. But that is so cute anyway. Love this colour blue and I think this would look sick with either colour of these shorts, to be honest. 
cute little summer outfit there. So next up we've got a pink cropped shirt. So I picked this up just to go with like anything really. Like you could wear cycling shorts co-ord, you can wear denim shorts, a little top, and then wear this over the top with lot undone. So this is from weekday. I've got this in a size medium. I mean it is quite big, even though it's a, like a cropped shirt, it is still quite long. I have not long picked one up from Bershka, which is like more of a pastel baby pink colour, which I actually think I prefer, so I probably won't keep this just because I prefer the Bershka one, but still cute anyway. It's like a more of a salmony pink than like a pastel pink. It's really nice quality, like it doesn't feel like it's gonna be seed through it or anything like that. Um it's a really soft material as well, so it's gonna be really comfy to wear. I'm just not sure on the colour of it because it look I think it looks a lot more pastel on the website and it's more like salmony pink in person. How cute is this little bag? <laughs> Where is this from? I think this is just ASOS again. Yeah, this is ASOS design and I just thought, that is so cute. I think bright bags like this you can wear with anything. Like on a night out if you're wearing an all black outfit, take this out and it just spices it up so much. So it's just a little pink square bag. Um, it does it with like a magnetic thing there. But it does also have the long strap in. Ooh, I only just realised they're gold, but they're like a yellow gold. Don't know if I'm a fan of the colour of that. I don't know, I don't know how I feel about the gold and the pink together, but to be honest, I'd probably only use it like that anyway. I feel like these are good night out bags because one a night out, all you really need is your phone and your cards. And that's pretty much all you're gonna fit in here anyway, but that's like all you need. They're so cute, I love the colour of it. It's like a hot Barbie pink. I love the roost little handles, wow, they're so cute. And then this is like a little random thing that I picked up. So I ordered all of this ASOS stuff probably about four or five days ago. And then last night I decided I was gonna pick this up. So this is the ordinary. I'm not gonna embarrass myself and pronounce this word. Right, are you ready to laugh? Niacinamide. Niacinamide and zinc. I don't really know if that was right or not. <laughs> Apparently it's meant to be good for helping with like spots and texture. And I do have quite textured skin. Like it's not that bad, but I always quite like, you know them bumps underneath your skin that are really annoying and like little red dots. Normally always on my forehead and cheeks. So I wanted to try something that was gonna apparently help that and i've heard so many people rave about this i use the ordinary foundation i've got it on today so i know it's a really good brand so i picked that up that was only five pounds as well right my camera battery's on red so i'm going to end this video here so thank you so much for watching don't forget to click all the links down below if you are interested in any of it it will all be down there don't forget to follow me on my other socials as well they'll be left on the screen but i'm going to end this video here so thank you so so much for watching if you did enjoy smash a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below for more and i'll see you guys very soon with a brand new video